Hello everyone and welcome to today's Cast on the Fly. My name is Cassandra and we're here because I want to take a moment to talk a little bit about what's actually going on with producers of content and the allure of what certain individuals are producing for you to fail, which is disguised by you thinking that you're going to succeed. Now, if you can really hear me, because the problem is, is most of you cannot hear what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that these people don't talk about anything that gets results. They literally work a network of a Ponzi scheme, go to galas, get brand deals, and deliver on absolutely nothing except for common sense conversation. Example is Dear Media and everything she speaks to. Examples are these fake doctors from other countries who are completely clueless in relationships, health and wellness. Everything about this is completely to sabotage you into submission. Sabotage you into submission as well as bring money into their bank accounts while they take from you in the form of worship. So worship looks like seeing a couple that you know one person is in a movie and then another person's in a movie and then watching those people and then saying, wow, they're really cool. I wish I could be like them. She's so attractive. They're so happy. And then you take a look around at your life and you're like, well, my life is miserable. These same people will then go on to staged events, which would be something along the lines of what you saw at Cannes, Lions, and they will have scripts that they're working to have like basically like a reality TV show of real life with other influencers, as well as a reality television show that goes onto the internet. It's like contract relationships. It's very important to understand that because that's not a sustainable existence for you as an audience member you want a small business to have a small presence on a platform however these people are speaking to those that are in network these people are speaking to those in the network meaning they're keeping up with the joneses it's all about the essence of their energy that keeps you down while they show you pictures of them doing a horrendous Pilates practice or a horrendous yoga practice and then erotically standing next to a guy who has a $200 million business. And then you in your mind think, well, she's got it made. She made it in the business, but she doesn't deliver on anything. So you, you want to understand that that's what keeping up with the Joneses looks like. See, you only see that she has a boyfriend and a fiance with a diamond that she erotically shows while she says our apartment. And then feeds off the energy of what I just said. However, it's not real. It's not true. It's an undercover operation to expose the Ponzi scheme. You don't get in the Ponzi scheme unless you participate in the Ponzi scheme. It's a global affair. It's a global concern and we're at a global war here. The problem with you all as audience is you all know this to be true that you don't like these people. But you relax in the sense of when they're speaking, you say, well, oh, well, maybe they're not so bad. And the realization and the reality is, is they are that bad. They are horrible people. They are terrible to talk to. See, in your mind, you can't imagine that. Go, you know, each person has their own personality. Well, these people don't have their own personality. They have like one personality. It's boring. It's boring listening to Alex Earl talk about how she got kicked out of sorority. It's boring to watch her get wasted constantly. I mean, what is she going to do when she's 50 years old? Is she still going to be a wasted college dropout? That is her target audience are girls in their 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. She literally says to girls in high school, here's how you're supposed to act. So now she's teaching your daughters how to misbehave. That is the network. It is beyond my own thoughts that 
you as a mother of a son could allow this to be the new norm of what women should be operating as and under while they pretend to be friends with other women. They pretend to be friends with other women while yapping in the form of competition while speaking to women in business and how women are great in business. No, women are not great in business. Women are horrific in business. I'm the truth teller of what it actually is for women in business when it comes to the network of podcasting and when it comes to the network of Hollywood. They will say that it's an even playing ground and it ain't no even playing ground. If you've got a hairstylist, a makeup artist, the money to back you, the people to back you, the uh, organized crime of the government known as the Democrats to back you, you're literally going to win. It's called brainwashing. The problem is, is they don't actually teach you anything. See, they had everything laid out appropriately to assist all people to be their form of success. Not everybody wants to be an influencer. Not every millennial and Gen Z wanted to be an influencer either. However, they told people that that's what they wanted to be. That's what Dear Media told you that they want that you wanted to be that. They told you that. That's what Mona Van told you that you wanted. Because look at her a lavish lifestyle. Look at how they're treating their children, and then that's the new norm of modern parenting, using your kid as a shield or as a restart of a career of someone who's 45 years old, that would be Paris Hilton. That would be Paris Hilton. She's 45 years old, and she's using Phoenix and London to revamp her career. She doesn't want to be around those kids unless she's filming them. And then every part of that is staged while you as audience, while you as People Magazine tell everyone what a wonderful mother she is while she talks about child abuse because she was abused, because she was put in a facility, because she was abusing. Meanwhile, real people with real education and real conversation, because this is a conversation, the internet. But these aren't, what we're having aren't real conversations. It's narcissistic lessons of how to be narcissism from an Indian woman who literally is the narcissist. While Jay Shetty sits across from her while they use ASMR microphones trying to control your minds into their form of opinion to make it fact. But that is not fact, lady. You are the narcissist. Creating narcissists and anxiety in lots of different people so that they can create submission within you as an audience. So that it'll be easy for you to relax in their presence to get your hit, which means you're addicted to them. It's like a drug. A sugar sweet drug. Let me look at that girl in her little underwear while she gets her rocks off standing on a villa while she looks so hot and cans lions. How is that helping me with education, which education is the power. Education is the influence. Not standing there erotically holding a salad bowl and saying, I'm hot and you're not. I'm skinny and you're not, and that's your marketing tactic, while you then try to make the person on the other side who's speaking honest, authentic facts, you try to make them feel less than so that you can, can submit them into submission. That's not the American way. That's the Persian Middle Eastern style of living. And that's what they've brought over with their ability to reach us with Palestine riding in our streets, yet you as Americans are mentally ill, which you've exposed on yourselves by filming yourself to the river, to the sea. We have no idea about anything for thee. Dogging out our country is traitor conversation. Though the traitor is actually Obama and the traitor is Kim Kardashian and all your favorite celebrities like Blake Lively are the traitors, Taylor Swift. And that's the 10 minutes.